We interviewed three members of the school staff, and here's what they had to say about field trips. The destination is decided by the teachers, and the principal approves of it. When I interviewed the principal, Nurse Baker, and a substitute, we did Nurse Baker first. We asked Nurse Baker where the school gets the money for the field trips, and she responded, The PTO helps. The farthest field trip from the school is either Jefferson City or St. Louis. Field trips are a reward for a year of hard work. Nurse Baker stated she likes field trips. The most educational field trip was Jefferson City. Some of this year's field trips will be the Daniel Boone Home, the Butterfly House, and the Museum. Hi, I'm Camden Heigl, and today I have special guest with me, Madison Smith. Hi, I'm Madison, and today we're talking about what is there. There is an anti-drug program that stands for Drug Abuse Resistance and Education. We interviewed several 6th and 5th graders. We learned about the 5 W's in reporting who, what, when, where, and why, and what, and to, and to tell what the difference is between tattling and telling. Darren Chance, Chief of Police, a.k.a. the D.A.R.E. Officer, shared a funny story with us. He said that him and his partner were called to this house and had the, what they knew is that the guy had lost a snake in the house and they're terrified of snakes and Ms. Uh, Chief Chance felt something go over his foot and he thought it was a snake but it was probably like a backpack strap or something and they ran out of there screaming but long story short it wasn't a snake. DARE is a drug prevention program for fifth graders all in the U.S. and some other countries, but its hometown is the USA. As soon, wait, as a soon-to-be DARE graduate, and actually we graduated today and a few weeks ago, at first I thought it was pointless, but after a few weeks I learned a few things I didn't know. We also learned about suicide prevention the story he shared was very touching, but I, and I'm very proud to be a D.A.R.E. graduate. So is he. Yes, I am. And this is Darren the D.A.R.E. Lion. He's fluffy. <laughs> and we hope that you would enjoy going, going to, to D.A.R.E. Dare. Yeah. Baker Elementary Road is one way connecting to parking lot to Old Highway 61. The Bonnaby Road goes to two ways connecting the parking lot and business area. At Bonnaby Elementary, it will be paved, but at Franklin Elementary, it will be great gravel. Well, Frank Road, it has safety because there are no exits. The goal is to have the roads completed by the Canton Constructors built the roads. Franklin Elementary Road is one way connected to the parking lot to Old Highway 61. Bolton Road goes two ways to connect the parking lot to business. 61. At Bowling Green Elementary, it will be paved, but at Frankfurt Elementary, it will be gravel. For Frankfurt, it has no safety because there are no exits. The goal is to have roads completed by fall. And that is all for today. Thank you. Hello everybody. This is Rise News. My name's Owen Miller. And I'm Austin Maxson. And today we're going to be talking about Stretch. Now, have you ever heard of Stretch? It's not stretching. It's actually a program for advanced students. It's a middle school program that is a step up from Rise. Rise is a similar program for K-5, from K-5 for gifted and talented students. RISE students are currently in a journaling unit, but we're not talking about RISE. We're talking about stretch.
stretches it gives That was our best take. Austin. I'm sorry. Why? We can just edit that out, right? Yeah, but what? Fine, we'll restart. You have to read two now. Stretch is a gifted program for 6th to 8th graders. Some of the students join from 6th grade or join from previous gifted programs. The teacher's name is Mrs. Fredrickson, and she's been teaching for 22 years. The students go to stretch on black days, but not on red days. Current projects. Famous artist presentation. The students are making, a sc making sculptures and paintings... And painting styles like famous famous artist presentation. The students are making sculptures and painting style like famous artists that they choose. They make paintings like Picasso, Da Vinci, and Michelangelo. The goals of Stretch are communication, systems thinking, information processing, and critical thinking. I wonder why these are the goals of Stretch. What do students like about Stretch? What do students of Stretch like about pro? about the projects, like one of the current project. Their forensic unit is where one of the students acts like an arsonist in the library. Yay! In conclusion, stretch students do multiple activities and helps and help students evolve their brains and thinking. And they follow the goals of stretch, which are again communication, system thinking, information processing, and critical thinking. Well, that's Rise News. My name is Markiplier. No, it's not. It's Owen Miller. We're cutting that out. Okay. My name is Owen Miller. And I'm Austin Maxson. And we'll see you next time. On Rise News. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, like pirate great. stuff. Yeah. We're saying pirate stuff because that's the play like that, that we're, we're in. Yeah. Uh, like some crate, box, net, yeah, hook, anything. eye patch, anything. Yeah. Uh, she'll like buy it. And sometimes when people are cleaning out like their garage the or they're cleaning part. out their house yeah, or just a room in their house. And, yeah, they'll yeah. call her and they'll say, hey, do you want this thing that and I so, have in so my I'm, garage that's piratey? And sometimes <laughs> she'll be like, oh, sure. Or, and she'll go pick it up, yeah. and, yeah. She has a closet <laughs> full of stuff. Yeah. We wondered what her fa what her favorite play was. We wonder what her favorite play was. She told us it was a tie between El Elf. Is it Elvis or Elvis? Elvis. Yeah. Elvis, which is about an elf, and then Pirates, which is It's not an, elf. he's not an elf! Yeah, I thought it was Elvis. Oh, it's Elvis? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, anyways. Uh, she said that, sorry, yeah, okay, we're just going to restart the part. We wondered what her favorite, what her favorite play to watch was, and she said, like we just said, uh, she said no. that it was a tie yeah. between okay. the pirates and, and Elvis, Elvis, yeah. and she likes the pirates because, or like, the pirates are doing this year, so yeah. our question was like, what's her favorite characters in it, yeah, and she's like, uh, the Soul Witch, which is the main one, which is Carissa Eckler. Um, yeah, our friend. She is the Stowaway. She said that, Miss Meyer she, said yeah. that she likes Stowaway because, or she liked the person, the character Stowaway because she liked to teach them to be a kid. Childish. To be childish. Yeah, childish, but not be yeah, like it's, childish. It's, it's like, confusing. if that makes sense, like, to be yeah. like, oh, I really want to be a pirate or whatever, but. She doesn't want them to be, like, too kiddish on the stage yeah. that are, like, running around yeah. and doing crazy stuff, yeah. if that makes sense. She also liked the Queen of the High Seas, which is me. Um, yeah. I can chop your head off, by the way. Yeah, joking? She, she joking? She In the can. play, I can. She, can. Well, she, she does not do that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, it's not that. But we always say in practice, if someone makes me mad, then... Uh, they're like, be careful, she can chop your head off. Yeah. Um. Because Miss Meyer exaggerates a lot because she wants us to have a real feel of our actual char character. Yeah. So there's a one girl who is yellow beard. She gets to bully Macy, so she does that. Well, <laughs> uh, you know. She's a little idiot. She, she, <laughs> yeah. Like well, like her character is supposed to be yeah. like an idiot, so she's yellow beard. She's my friend Natalie. Her thing is hanging out in the hallway over there. She's the one like this with the basketball. Yeah, she's really tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're getting off dark. Okay. Um. Oh. She liked my character oh, yeah. because uh, she liked to teach me all the different voices. I have to be Elvis. Elvis. And Jane has to dress me up. And Natalie. Yeah, and uh, a leather jacket and some nice shades. I have to sing. Oh, can you cool a line? Can you lift a ton? Can you live with worms and have a lot of fun? Can you fool a mate and ever feel his pain? Can you laugh at a hurricane? But in an Elvis voice. Um. Yeah. Okay. I've always wondered. I've always wondered how. Wait. I've always wondered if someone gets hurt right before the performance, what she does. Oh. Hmm. Good question. Oh yeah. She she said that. Uh. Oh yeah. I remember that one now. She said. <laughs> she said that. Uh. She. <laughs> the kid could Why do you play with the camera holder? I don't know. Put it down. Put it back. Uh, she said if, like, they got her, like, right before and couldn't come, then she would have her sons fill in or she would just say the words. Which she does not like doing because she thinks it's, like, distracting to some people because they're like, where the heck did that come from? And they're like, why is she saying the lines? Yeah. And, uh, okay. And then I also wondered, like, I also wondered, like, how does she make the movements? Like, um, she said that, like, it's like, what should we do with a stowaway? She said what that she shall we listens. Do to make her today? She said that she listens to music and then makes yeah, and up. then like makes the yeah. like if they're like fast beat, she, she won't be like she but she won't be like no, she she's gonna be like I don't know. This isn't a movement. We're just yeah. like making it up. Right. Um. So she, yeah, um. she listens to sounds and then she makes good movements for that. Technically. Oh, uh, we said, like, what, how does she get the prop, or, like, how does she, like, decide what props she's going to use? And she said it depends on, like, the characters and, and the, the theme. Yeah, and the theme. So she would not pick 
an orangutan for a pirate play. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Zero. Um, so we also asked her what's her favorite song since there's seven. One's a reprise and it has the ending, yeah. like... Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, it's and just confusing. Her favorite uh, song is um, Lost at Sea, which is the sign language song. It's... It's pretty long, in my opinion, and there are also solos. But yeah, she has a solo. No, fine, I do. She does have a <laughs> solo. Um, so like, as you can imagine, it's not going to be a piece of cake to manage it. Be like, oh, I can get these people to remember these lines, no. and I can set this up, and I can take this down, and I can do all this equipment. No. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, so That's we said, what's the hardest part of managing it all? And surprisingly, it's like. The part of getting everyone excited, excited and ready to do it instead of just be like, yeah, because she says she says that the cast is gets really really excited, but the people who are like, who are like on the risers aren't really that excited for it because they don't have like a, you know, uh, we're both on stage. <laughs> yep. So there's also spring and winter plays. We asked her which one she likes better. She said she likes both of them better. So. So thank you so much, Miss so Meyer, and, and make sure to come, come check out our play on May 11th. You'll get to see her have a solo, I have a solo. You'll get to see our acting. Yes. Yeah. Just, if you come, just get ready. Just get ready. Okay, that's kind of okay. <laughs> The next interview we did with the cute third grade girl with a very nice ramen shirt. I'm sorry, again, we do not know her name. <laughs> and I'm sorry if she's watching this video right now. We asked... Her, would she rather be on stage and act when she gets old enough, or would she stay on the risers? And she said that she answered very, really, like quickly. So I, I, like, she's very confident mm -hmm, with her answers, which is yeah. nice. She's not like, yeah, because eh, then you yeah, don't she know if she's right like, away. It's very nice. yes, because uh, nice. then you don't know if it's like, would, as an interviewer, yeah. like, is that really their true answer though? Yeah. So she said she'd rather be on stage. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she answered so and then the set there are seven songs in the play this is the same question we asked Miss Meyer which one was her favorite song she said that it was Stowaway and she also had the, her favorite movement out of all the songs it's Stowaway. were from it's were, the was we, from Stowaway yeah. we showed you this one again so make we'll her pay today it's what shall we do with the Stowaway no it's what should Good. we do with the Stowaway what, what shall, shall we, we do, do to make her pay today? today? That's Tops her up and yeah. overboard video no, to no, the show. No, no, Keep her down the game playing poker to just wear snow. And then we get to take her on stage. Well, that's okay. Fun. That's Anyways. <laughs> we're <laughs> getting <laughs> off track again. That's but, yeah. Fine. This <laughs> took a few takes. Like, take one, yeah. take two, take three. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Um, so, she... Uh, she When you're on the risers, we ask her, like... Is she going to dress up like a pirate? Because the video we watched had the people dress up as a pirate. Yeah, because she showed but, us an example. So, yeah. And uh, so she's like, yeah, like you're not just going to wear jeans yeah. and a t-shirt. So she said she'll dress up. Like a pirate? Yeah, like a pirate. Um, I'm, I'm up. You okay? Birch. Birch. Um, oh, 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 I don't know what I was doing. Okay, um, uh, so we, ah, uh, wait. Yeah, we got new merch. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end. So, um, yeah, so she wanted to dress up, and then she said she did not want to dress up too much, which is a good thing, because she don't want the attention, like, off stage. Yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, she, we asked her if she was going to be happy, like, doing this play, like, getting to yeah. watch it, and she said, very, very, yeah, she took, she took, like, a couple of seconds, she's like, very, <laughs> and we're like, perfect, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> so, like, we wondered if she ever done, like, any school, like, or singing events, um, out of, outside of school, yeah, and she said, no, this is actually, like, she has not done anything outside of her, outside of school that involves singing. So yeah, well, like, you know what I mean. Um, and also we also asked her like, since there's seven songs, would she want to like swap one like, out? Change one. Yeah, change one too. Like, so there's a song twice, yeah. or would she rather keep it? And she said, 
Should we just keep it the same? Yeah, because. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, kind of a random question, not gonna lie. <laughs> we asked her if this whole event has been fun, like practicing. Sorry, just drinking my morning coffee and getting ready for it. Um, and she said that she really enjoys it. Yes. Um, yeah. Our last interview was with a fifth grade girl named Peyton who is in my class. She is also in the play. Yeah. Sorry. I'm still tired from getting out of bed. <laughs> it's like the, it's like school's almost over. <laughs> Okay. The I don't know first what question we asked. The first question we asked her was, "What was her favorite line that she has to say?" She, well, like not that she had to say. We asked yeah. her first, "What is that her favorite line that, like, and out of the he, whole thing?" And she, but she couldn't answer. Like, it's a little. Confusing. She didn't know, so she was like, she answered with her own Why? and said, "Uh, she has to say avast, avast, avast." To the that stowaway. means stop. Yeah. Uh, that was her favorite line. Uh, another question we asked her was, are you happy being in the play? Like, if you, like, try out, like, I'll try out just for fun. But, like, was she actually happy being in it? Yeah, and she answered yes, very, very, I really do enjoy it. And I really liked her enthusiastic answer. Big words. <laughs> yeah. We're using big words this Yay. morning. Um, another question, um, is that... Sorry. Ugh. Yeah. Is that how do you think you're going to feel on the stage? Mm -hmm. Since the and school years. Yeah, the since school. the past school years have been on the riser since yeah. we were old enough and then last year with COVID. And anyway. It's a little crazy. Yeah. Uh well it wasn't last year, but we couldn't do yeah. it because of COVID last yeah. year. So uh she said that she'd feel confident. Happy and, and confident. Yeah, yeah, like happy. Um now Peyton has a solo. So we asked her. So we asked her. Have you like, done anything that yeah. involves singing outside of school? Yeah, like she has a singing solo. So yeah. has she done anything outside of school? She said that she sings at her church a lot, which I go that's to that her church. Main, yeah, she's that's her main thing. I do not go to that church. For that. Yeah. <laughs> her midway question was: Would you rather have? It's the Saint Clement Church, if you all yeah. know. <laughs> would you rather have? Would you rather have this? Be, would you rather be in the spring play or winter play? Which <laughs> the play is already in the spring. Spit it out. I did. Okay, so she said that she didn't care. She would like it to be the same too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one of one of Peyton's other questions was, "What is your favorite song of the play?" She also answered "Stowaway." Is her favorite song? Yeah. The disgusting basin. <laughs> okay. Where's my song? Huh? People, huh? Um, sorry. One Anyways, on just. One of your last questions. Uh, one of our last questions was <sighs> When you were a kid, would you rather be on the stage or the risers? She responded the stage, and her second to last question was Would you. Sorry, my eyes are yum yawning. Um. <laughs> She would rather be on the uh, stage, and yeah. her question was, would you, like, do you like having the song, like, two times as the reprise, or would you rather, yeah, <laughs> or would you rather, um, I was thinking my mug around and stuff was splashing out, um, and, <laughs> and behind the scenes, and she said that, she likes the re or she likes, likes the reprise. Yeah, she wants to keep it the same. And then her last question was, "Are you gonna dress up?" Um, and she said, and she answered, "Of course." And thank you for being in our interview, Peyton. We really, really enjoyed, enjoyed talking to you yeah. and having you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed our meeting. But that was our interview with Peyton. Yeah. And that was our third interview, so we're almost done. Don't get too antsy. I know you want more, but sorry. <laughs> uh, um, the whole thing was so fun from making these tie-dye shirts to getting our hands from making the tie-dye shirts. Sadly, purple. They're not. Yeah, yes. they're not. They're not anymore. No. Uh, like we have so many bloopers in that video. I need to actually yeah. 
edit that a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we might post that video, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh -huh. uh, Macy and me have the best friends since kindergarten, and I hope we always will be. Yeah. <laughs> um. So thank you for listening to the Macy and, and, and Jaden talk, talk show. show. Oh, so we have credits, credits. to Miss Meyer, Robin Girl. Didn't know her name. <laughs> um, Peyton, and, and last, last but not least, Miss Woodall. Woodall. If you don't know who that is, that is our teacher. Rice who, teacher. Yeah, she helped us with all of this, so big thank you to her. And yeah, so, um, so, yeah. No, no. Yes. Our merch. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, you're zooming in. Yeah. Okay, so we made merch. These are the yes. tie-dye shirts. Get your merch. Zoom out a little bit. Why? We have to zoom out the camera a no, little bit. No, it's gorgeous. <gasps> no, I can see my face. Okay. Macy and Jaded merch. Yeah. So we got our merch names. It's New merch. Good. We got Macy and Jaden. Sorry, this camera's confusing. And then the nice. And then our emoji, our logo. And then, and then talk, talk show. show. And if you would like these, go to Macy and Jaden. Dot com. <laughs> Macy and Jaden talk show dot com. And they are $15 each. They are custom made.